Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone. Today I'm going to tie you up a little uh, furled. This is a blue damsel dry fly. Nice little bug here. It's easy to tie with these materials. Which we'll be using uh, Gamma Gatsu S10 uh, 2S. It's a nymph hook, but it's actually a pretty light wire shank hook here, so I chose that size 12. I have some blue 6 uh thread to tie with. You can use black or whatever you have. I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, dry fly saddle in uh, Grizzly. The I'm going to put some small mono eyes on here, black mono eyes. Also going to use some white Antron for the wing and some parachute post for the parachute. Also the main ingredient here is going to be Semperfly dry fly poly yarn. This is blue damsel. It's a floating yarn, which is a very, very nice feature. Uh, Semperfly's come up with some new products here and uh, make our life a lot easier in our fly time. Get these little damsels floating. Start my thread on the front here. And then I'll grab my mono eyes. Place them up near the I, of course, just X them on and come to the rear. Now what we'll do is get ourselves some of this floating yarn. Got a nice little piece off here. It's kind of twisted yarn. I'm going to tie it on good here. Now we're going to furl the that body so what that means is I want to double it over itself I need to have twice as long and I'm going to twist this up and it's going to roll back over itself it's going to look like it's braided call that a furled body now when I slack off the tension here it's going to want to wrap around itself like so that's a furl they used to have furled leaders actually years ago and fly fishing just got kind of going many many years ago furled leaders so that's how that does it just formed very very tight and then it it uh, will back roll back over itself then you tie it down okay so I'll bring my thread back up here to the behind the eye my parachute post these are very easy to use. Tie them on, cut it at a bit of an angle. Make sure I don't nip that off. The butts are nice, easy to tie down on the parachute foam. Rainy's float foam that makes these. I do a lot of parachute flies. This is my favorite parachute material. Okay, so just going to take a turn in behind here, catch it off. Now I'll bring in my hackle. I cut it off here, but a little bit webby. That's okay. We got the. It's not really going to carry the fly as as much as uh, the foam will. The, actually, the yarn, the floating yarn, is going to keep this fl fly up. Okay, so now I have my hackle tied in there. I'll bring in, whoop. You can do this in either way. I'll take my Antron wing, tie that in, cut that off it's the rear, and split that Antron. Don't use a whole strand of it, it's too much. Now I can tie my hackle on top. There we go. Now we're back in sync. Take my yarn again underneath so I can just X in between the eyes on the top. And I'll come back up this other side. 
there. Trim it off right at the top here. Bottom looks like the shape I want. That looks good. I'm worried more about the bottom appearance than the top. Okay. Now, the way I like to do my parachute flies, I do it very, very easy. I just bring in some of my Solaraz bone dry. Get a generous amount on my th thread post all the way around. Okay, that will not dry until the UV light hits it. So, where's my light back here? I'll grab my hackle. I'll wind over top of the solar is. There you go. Oh, won't stay until I hit it with my light. Of course, you only struggle when you bring the camera out. There you go. I'll bring my light. Now that'll cure that bone dry on there. There it is. All one swoop. Thread will just cut off. It's around the solar res is holding this whole bug together right now. Pitch that off. I'll take my wig and I'll just trim it off just a little bit shorter than the tail. You can bring a little bodkin needle in here, split that out a little bit. The wing lies over the back of the damsel, like so. So there it is. Nice, simple little parachute fly. They land really nice. They just kind of float down. They're very dainty on the water, just like the damsel itself. So there you go, a little blue damsel. Thanks to the folks at Semperfly. I made this all possible. They're dry fly poly yarn to get some of this. And uh, do a great job for you. Thanks for watching.